We'll use different methods to enroll clients into uh, Microsoft's Endpoint Manager depending on what kind of client they are. And then for some Windows clients, we may enroll them through Active Directory, through Group Policy or uh, System Center Manager. But a common way that we'll do it, especially if it's a device that we don't control. So let's say a an employee is working from home using their home computer, either their laptop or their desktop or something like that. A common way that we will give them enroll their system into the endpoint manager is through a manual installation on their uh, local device. And it's actually really easy to do that. We have to create the user inside endpoint manager. But then all they have to do is download and install the company portal app. So let me show you what that looks like. This is actually going to be a Windows Store app. So I'm going to just search for Store. And I'm going to open up the Microsoft Store. And in the Microsoft Store, I am going to search for Company Portal. And what we're looking for is this one right here, Company Portal. So we're going to click on that app. And this is a free app, so they don't have to pay anything for it. I'm going to tap Get. And no, I'm not going to use it across all my devices. I'm just going to use it on this one. So let's try this again and see if we can get to it. There we go. All right. And we'll start downloading the app. <clears throat> Now, it's a pretty straightforward download and install, but it's going to take it a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'm going to pick it up once it gets a little closer to being done. Okay, so we've installed the company portal, and I'm going to go ahead and click Launch to launch my company portal. And at this point, they're going to want to log in using the account that either you created for them or the account that you invited them to. I'm using my temp account, so I'm going to type in my account information and my password. Make that go away. And then I need to check to allow um, my organization to manage my device. Now, the alternative is no sign into this app only which will sign you into the app, but it doesn't give the management tools available that the company may want to have access to. So I'm going to click OK and say, yeah, go ahead and allow that. And then we're going to register this device with the company, and done. So we'll do a quick sign in here. Now, remember when we talked about apps, when we were looking at app policies? So we didn't publish any policies, but if we would have, they would start showing up here. So we, they'd start seeing apps available, and they could click on those apps, and they could install them locally. Now, also down here, this device hasn't been set up for corporate use yet, so we're going to go ahead and click that, and click Next. So we're going to connect to work, and we're just using that same account. So it was, see if I can remember which one I used. And we'll go to the organizational sign-in, register this PC, and done. And that's all there is to it. So at this point, we are fully operational. So I'm going to go back to my home. And here would be the featured apps. And it, that should clear in a minute. We can view all apps here. And, well, you get the idea. Now, remember, we haven't actually deployed any apps at this point. And it's still saying it hasn't uh, been set up. It should be. Remember uh, what we talked about? Yeah, it's done. Okay, remember what we talked about, though? It may take a little while for it to be visible on the company side. But that's all there is to it. We just download that app and install it. And at this point, this device is now registered with the Endpoint Manager. So it can be managed remotely. And then any apps can show up there in the company portal. 
and be deployed uh, locally as long as they've been published there by the administrator. So that's all there is to manually enrolling a Windows PC into Microsoft Endpoint Manager.